Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing very well. So in the last video, I already have started chapter number 6 fraction and this is video number 2 of this chapter. Okay, so children, in the last video, I have discussed how to equally divide a thing into different parts. I have shown you some chocolates and I have divided it into 2, 3 and 4 parts. Okay, but suppose I have a collection of things and I have to divide that collection into 2, 3, 4 and like that parts. Okay, so how we can do that? Like I have 10 pencils in my hand. Okay. And I have to divide, equally divide these 10 pencils among 5 students. So how can I do that? While teaching you the chapter division, I have told you that to equally divide these things. Okay. We have to divide the collection by the number. Okay. Similarly like that, here also we have to divide this collection. So let us start the topic. So as you can see I have drawn here 12 balls. Okay you can count these balls. Now how many parts equal parts we have to make of these 12 balls. This is a question. Okay. So first we have to find out that how many equal parts we have to make. Suppose we have to make two equal parts. Okay. It is like that 12 ball we have to divide among two persons. Okay. So, to make the group, here what we are doing? Here we have to make two equal parts. Means we are making the groups. So, to make the groups, what we have to do? We have to divide the things. As I already have taught you in the chapter division. So, what we have to do here? We have to divide this 12 ball by 2. So, we can do, if we will divide this 12 balls by 2, then we will get 6. Okay. If you will divide this 12 by 2, then we will get 6 as answer. Means 6 balls we have to put in a group. Okay. It is like that 12 balls we have to divide among 2 persons. Then how many balls each person will get? Definitely 6 balls each person will get. So here in one part we have to keep 6 balls. So now what was the question? We have to make two equal part of these balls. So how we will do that? We have to keep six balls in one part. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these six we have to keep in one group. And these six we have to keep in another group. Okay. Now you can see I made two equal parts. Each part contains six, six balls. Okay. So, if the question will come, how many balls are there in one part? So, answer is six. Means each part contains six balls. Understood? Okay. Now, here I have written the question, divide the collection into four equal parts. Here I have drawn balloons. Few balloons, we will count it later. And what we have to do? We have to divide these balloons into four equal parts. Okay? Now, and write the number of objects in each part. Here, we have to write number of balloons in each part. If we are making four parts, then how many balloons are there in each part? Okay? So, first, let us start with counting the balloons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So, how many balloons are there? There are 12 balloons. So, what we have to do? We have to divide this 12 by 4. Why? Because we have to make 4 different groups. Okay? So, we will divide here by 4. So now in the table of 4, we can find 12 at 3 times. Okay. And after subtraction, we will get 0. So this 3 is the answer. Means in each part, we have to keep 3 balloons. Okay. So if we will make the group, then for how we have to make? Like this. Okay. Then in this 
3 here and 3 here. Now you can see how many groups I have made. 1, 2, 3, 4. Each group contains same number of balloons. 3 balloons, 3 balloons, 3 balloons and 3 balloons. So in this box what I have to write? I have to write number of object in each part. Each part contains how many balloons? Each part contains 3 balloons. Okay? So like this you have to solve the exercises. So I am giving you another example. Here we have to divide the collection into 3 equal parts. How many parts we have to make? 3 equal parts. Okay? So first let us start counting these triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many triangles are there? 12 triangles. Okay? And we have to make 3 groups. So what we have to do? We have to divide this 12 by 3. Okay? Now, in the table of 3, we can find 3 fourths of 12. Okay? So this is the answer that we have to keep 4 triangles in each row. Okay? 1 2 3 Okay? Now 3 groups we have made. Understood? How many groups we have to make? 3 equal parts. We have to divide these triangles into 3 equal parts. So 3 equal parts we have made. How many triangles should be there? 4. So can start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Each part contains 4 triangles. So we can write that how many triangles are there in each part? There are 4 triangles in each part. Understood? So just pause this video and write these things in your maths copy. So our second topic is numerator and denominator. Now what does this mean? What is numerator and what is denominator? As you can see here I have made a circle. Okay. This whole this one circle is called as whole. Okay. I have divided this circle into four equal parts. Okay. And I have shaded its two part. Okay. So if we have to write this in fraction then how can we write? We can write 2 by 4. Isn't it? We can write how many parts are there? 4. And how many parts we have shaded? 2. So like this we can write. So this 2 is called as numerator. And this 4 is called denominator. Understood? The upper part tells us how many parts are shaded. Okay? And the lower part tells us that in how many equal parts the whole is divided. The whole is the circle and it is divided into four equal parts. So the denominator, the lower part that is denominator tells us in how many equal parts the whole is divided. Okay? And the upper part that is numerator tells us that how, how many parts are shaded. Understood? As you can see I have written here the number at top tells us how many parts are shaded. Okay? The number at top tells us how many parts are shaded and is called numerator. Okay? The number at bottom tells into how many part a hole is cut. Okay? The number at the bottom tells us in how many parts the hole is cut. Here the hole is cut into four parts. Okay? And it is called denominator. Okay? So just pause this video and write these things also in your maths copy. As you can see here I have written some questions. So let us start sol solving this question. So the first question is write the numerator. Here three questions I have written A, B and C. And we have to write in the box the numerator. Okay. So the first one is 1 by 6. So in 1 by 6 which one is numerator 1 or 6? 
Yes, one is numerator. Numerator is the shaded part. Okay, always the upper part is called the numerator. Here, 4 by 6. Again, we have to look at the topmost number. So, this is 4. Okay, the third one is 2 by 5. Here, this 2 is numerator. So, we will write 2. Understood? Numerator means top number. The number that is written at top and the denominator means the number that is written at bottom. Okay. Now the second question is write the denominator. Here again I have given 1, A, B and C. Three questions. Okay. 1 by 7. In this we have to find out the denominator. So as I already told you that denominator we always have to write at the bottom. Okay. So here 7 is written at the bottom. So it is the denominator. Here 4 by 8, 8 and here in 1 by 9, 9. Understood? Now here the third question, write fraction width. Okay? 5 as numerator. Here we have to write the fractions. Okay? In the fraction what we have to do? We have to write 5 as numerator. Numerator means the number that we have to write in the top. So we can write 5. And 10 as denominator. Okay. Denominator means the number that we have to write at the bottom. Okay. So we can write 10 at bottom. So this is the fraction of this number. 5 as numerator and 10 as denominator. We have to write like this. Okay. Now the second question is 7 as denominator. Now here the 7 is written as denominator. So for first we will give the dividing line. 7 we have to write in the denominator. Okay. And 2 as numerator. So we will write 2 as numerator. Okay. This is the answer of the first question. And this is the answer of second question. Okay. So just pause this video and write these things also in your maths notebook.